So I also wrote why war at the thinking, um, um, one thing that else has been on my mind has been, of course, those coming back, and we're hearing it more in the media now, about, uh, post-traumatic stress. And unfortunately, with news articles I've read, um, many people, many of these soldiers with mental illness now, who have been on extended tours, numerous tours, they're being sent back again on more tours. Not a tour, fun tour, like fighting over their tour because of limited resources and, and people. And they're not given the excuse. They're not given the excuse or the medical treatment or okay, you know. They're being sent back in there. And I think we're going to see a lot more problems. Already, those who come home with post-traumatic, it's going to affect their families in different ways. Um, break a lot of families apart. Um, tragedies are going to happen. People are going to snap. Sicknesses are going to happen. Where, you know, the more people affected, the more it's going to affect a lot of people. And it is. I'm sure it is, and we're not hearing those stories. Um, but putting them on even more tours, sending them back without any consideration is. Uh, I think we're going to hear a lot more horror stories eventually coming out of those places of bad, brutal acts being done by our, by our soldiers, acts that shouldn't be done, not, uh, not good stuff. And um, the more we hear about this, I think it's easy to blame just simply the soldier themselves, but I think that... Uh, this is something that I saw a long time ago happening because I'm aware of traumatic stress and um, I could see this coming, just could see this coming. Because we have a bad habit, if I speak as American, which I'm Canadian, but I can speak as a North American, we have a bad habit of underestimating our resources or overestimating. And when we get involved, we tend not to, we didn't, we didn't get, get involved full out, or... Ah, there's so many mistakes made. <laughs> Sorry. Mistakes that, you know what, people are human, they make mistakes. Even people in power, they've got to consider uh, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? It's no excuse for what's happening. And, um... It's going to get worse, especially in years to come. I mean... People used to talk about the shock of seeing Vietnam veterans. Well, we haven't seen much yet, enough yet, of veterans of Iraq, Americans coming home. Many of them are still in hospitals, various hospitals situated throughout the world. And many of them aren't even counted yet, included in the numbers of injured. And the numbers of injured is very, very high. If you thought of the deaths as being high, you have not heard about the injuries. And maybe you're thinking, eh, eh they're injured. They're, they're not dead. They're okay. You know, they'll come home. They'll be okay. Um, physically injured, we're talking about very bad injuries. Extremely where some people are permanently mangled. And they're going to come home sometime. And uh, we are going to be seeing this. Because eventually, it's not going to be hidden anymore. And I'm wondering how we're going to treat them. Now, you could be a proud supporter of the U.S. forces. And you could be a very proud American or Canadian soldier. But especially American soldier, especially people who are very supportive of the American military action. And who are against people who speak out against it. I'm wondering if they're as vehement about saying to the U.S. government, well then support your veterans when they're coming home. Uh, be paying their families while they're away. Be paying, uh, be supporting the treatments that they need. Um, pay them properly. Um, don't be jipping their families. Uh, be respectful to those who have lost them. Uh, um, their their family and that's not happening either <laughs> so it's quite the uh, double 
double negative there or whatever, double standard. It's like, um, on the part of the government especially, they say that there's, they want us to support their actions, but they're not even supporting their own troops. And that was very apparent with the whole armor issue, which still has not been completely addressed. Yeah. So, I rambled. And uh, that's what I do. You'd think I wouldn't be rambling, because I rambled for like hours today on the phone with my best friend. I seem to be talking a lot today. I wish I could have been more informative with facts, but uh, I encourage you to look up and read or challenge me. I don't know. I don't care. I care to hear your viewpoint, but I mean, um, I, I read and I I'm not good at remembering facts or naming word, you know, pronouncing words right. I'm really good at doing this though. But, um, I'm one of those people who, who, who's read up, but I, I'm not able to articulate it very well. But those who do, um, you know, like I said, I, I don't think it, it's as easy as just, well, I don't think it's as, war is complicated, but it's not. It's, uh, at the basis, it's, a uh, you can find the cause, the cause and effect. Ultimately, it's, uh, it has to do with people who aren't actually the ones that end up doing the killing. Look up. Look way up and you'll find it. And who's supported by those people? Us. So we have to inform ourselves. We have to find a way to make sure that our voice matters, which it doesn't feel like it does, but it does ultimately because we're the voters. Now you could say, well, the voting has been um, played with. Well, then we got to find other ways. And I'm meaning peacefully, but maybe not. I mean, I mean, am I calling for a revolution? I don't know. Do I want to give up my CDs and DVDs for a revolution? Do I want to give up my fast food joints and my <laughs> I'm kidding. I think it does come down to that, though. People, we're very comfortable. We don't care. Meanwhile, there are parts of the world where people are fighting f to keep open jobs, factories, and fighting for water supply. Like, fighting their government, fighting their government for clean water and winning, fighting for these bare essentials that we have. So people in the world aren't as stagnant as we are. They aren't as sheepish as we are. We're just not um, hearing about that as much. Because we're not supposed to consider it. We're not supposed to consider anything other than what we are being told. 